Hi, everybody. We are going to do another board maker training today. My name is Colleen Fritz, and I'm an assistive technology specialist. Let me go ahead and share my screen. We're talking about board maker software, and today we're going to learn how to make a new symbol. As you know, BoardMaker can make so many different things that you can use in your classroom to support your students. Uh, on our last video, we made a recipe. And within that recipe, I had a symbol that I drew from scratch, but you didn't get to watch me do it. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Here are some new symbols that I've made. Um, a Rice Krispie box. Here's a boy holding a drink. Here's the apple from the recipe that we did. We wanted the apple to look like it had been cut in half. Um, here's a birdie that looks exactly like one of the characters from one of the books that we've done in the past. Um, this is the symbol I usually use to for me. Uh, that's the board maker symbol I use to, uh, to uh, as my symbol. And I wanted it to say thank you. So I did a combination of a thank you symbol with the picture of uh, my symbol. Here's a truck and wanted to dress the truck up. So we're going to show you how to do that. So we're going to make a symbol. And I need to share my board maker screen with you. <clears throat> Okay, here's the board maker software. And as you know, the first thing we do is go to file and we want to choose new. There's my electronic sheet of paper. It's not as important uh, because you may not be printing this, you're going just to be saving this symbol. So even though you see the green line over here, you don't have to get it right next to the paper when you're doing this. But if you want to, you're gonna go to file Print Setup, I want it in Landscape, so I need to make it fit my printer page. There we go. All right, let's make a symbol. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Symbol Finder, and Container is an interesting one, because when you go to Container, BoardMaker has made a lot of different containers for you. And you can scroll th through that and choose a particular container that you might need. Um, and let's go ahead and choose the box. That looks like a good box, so we're going to put that in. Remember, I've come down to uh, where you see the tools, this particular box and I have no labels chosen because I don't want labels in my picture. So I click, I close this, and I'm going to resize it. It always works best if you make this picture larger. So I want you to notice that I've chosen my picture, which changed my toolbar. Let me click over here. Here's my original toolbar. When you click on a picture, the toolbar changes. So let me show you some things that you can do. All right, so let's say you want to color your box. You can go up, there's two paint cans. We're gonna choose the first paint can and we're gonna choose the color for our box. And I'm gonna choose kind of an orangey color. I'm going to click. It's going to fill the area that is uh, defined by the uh, black lines. So if I want it everywhere on my box, I have to go and click all of those areas. Let's say I don't like this color. I want to use a different color. Well, I can come up here and change to a different color. Let's change to one we'll recognize and go one by one to change it. Or I can come to my second paint can that says fill all tool. When I click on that, everywhere that there is blue, I can change that at one time. There you go. So everywhere there's blue, you can change it. That works really well when you're changing 
a uh, symbol that might be of a person and it's broken up by clothes. So you want to get the face and the hands all at once. You can use the fill all tool. All right. So let's make this a box of cereal. All right, well, let's type in the word cereal. There's the one I created, but let's see what else we have. Okay, there's a bowl of cereal. Here's a box with a bowl of cereal next to it. Hmm, I think I'll just take my bowl of cereal, I'll click, and I've added it now into my picture. If I close this, when I click on this picture, I can resize it. And to resize it, you just wait till you get your line, you click, hold, and drag, and you can make it the size that you want it to be. Now, if I wanted to change the color of my bowl, notice that I've got blue here and here. So I'm going to do my fill all tool, and I'm going to change my bowl to a red. And I've changed it all at once. Okay, so this is hot cereal. So maybe I want to add something to my picture. Now I still have my picture chosen. You can see the orange line around it. Well, I can draw on my picture. So I'm going to come up to my pencil. I'm going to choose the color I want. I don't want it to be red. I think I'll use black. And this looks pretty thin. I'm going to show you. That's not too bad. But what if I wanted those lines to be thicker? You can come over to this tool, which is a thickness tool, and change your pencil thickness to be bigger. Now you can see that those are bigger lines. And now that's the steam coming up from the cereal. Notice if I go out of the white, it's not going to draw past the dotted line. So now I've added something to my picture. I can add text. Now I've clicked out completely and I can add text here and type oatmeal. Cereal. Click here, click it, click hold and drag it to where I want it to be. Now I've made a new symbol. And this one is oatmeal cereal. So what you want to do next is if you click hold your click down and drag over the entire picture, it will choose everything. So it's choose, it has chosen the container, it has chosen the cereal bowl, and it has chosen the text. I want to copy that. Once again, I can come up to edit and choose copy, or I can use my uh, keyboard and do control C. So let's copy it. You open up your symbol finder tool and you can come back to edit and you can paste. And here comes a new dialog box. There is the new symbol. I need to add a name. So I'm gonna type in oatmeal and add that name. I'm going to type in cereal. See, I'm just clicking to add that name. Then you must assign a category. And if you look here, we have all our foods. So I'm going to click on foods. And I'm going to click on breakfast. I say OK. Now it's added those categories. Now I'll click the final OK. And it's going to add that symbol permanently to my library. Let's type in oatmeal. And there it is. I can click it here. Now what's nice about that, I'm going to delete this, is that now I have this so I can make it any size I need. If I want a large one or if I want it small because I'm going to put it in a recipe, it's really easy to do. Let me do one more symbol to show you. I'm going to choose the witch. 
we're going to click this and make it large. And I just want to show you a couple of more things that you can do. We've done the paint cans. We did the pencil. I can also erase. So just so you can see, I can come and erase a portion of the picture. I can fill it with a new color. I also can flip her. Now she's going the other way. I can also rotate the picture. So there's a lot of things that you can do using this toolbar to change your picture up. And that's it for today. I hope that helped and that you can make some new symbols to use in your recipes, your worksheets, or any type of visual that you're making for your student. Thanks for listening. I enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Bye-bye.